The CamRanger settings application is used on a Mac computer to configure network bridging between the CamRanger and an existing network. To change the CamRanger password and other network settings, which will be discussed in this video. Before using the app, make sure your CamRanger has firmware version 6 or newer. This upgrade can be found on our firmware upgrade page on our website. To run the application, you need to install the CamRanger settings app onto your computer from the CamRanger downloads page online. Before starting the app, plug your CamRanger into the computer directly using the Ethernet cable provided with your CamRanger. Power on the CamRanger. Wait for three lights to appear and launch the application. Again, remember to upgrade your firmware before starting with the CamRanger settings application. Here we are in the CamRanger setting app. We can see at the top that the current network displays the CamRanger NTX, which we are connected to. And within the known networks, the CamRanger NTX is also displayed. Any other networks that we would like to bridge to must manually be added. To do this, click the Add button, type in the SSID, select the proper encryption, and type in the password. You can either choose to bridge into this network now by pressing join, and this will make it where you are connected to the home network and the CamRanger network. You can cancel, or you can just add it to your known network list. You can add as many as you want to. So say next we want to add a studio network. We'll just say studio. So next time you launch this application, these known networks will be displayed within the list and you won't need to add it again. You can select either network when the network is present and press join and that will change the current network to the home network and you will be connected to both the CamRanger and the home network. Now if we move on to the default settings, we can see that here is where we change the Wi-Fi password to the CamRanger, we can change the network channel, and the selection of broadcasting the SSID. To change the Wi-Fi password, click on the edit button and type in your new password. Note that the new password must be a minimum of 8 characters in length. To change the channel, click on the drop down and you can see that the options are between 1 and 11. 11 is the standard, so we will just keep it there. There may be instances where you choose to change this network channel. The broadcasting SSID option, this allows for hiding your network. When it is clicked, your network will be visible to others, and when it is not clicked, it will be invisible. After changing the default settings, be sure to click the Set button before continuing. By changing the default settings, these new configurations are saved to the CamRanger unit. Therefore, if you use this CamRanger with a smartphone, tablet, or computer, the setting changes should be accounted for. If you do forget the password on the CamRanger, it can be recreated using this application. In summary, the CamRanger Settings Mac application is useful for network bridging, changing the password, and SSID broadcasting options. If you have further questions about using this app, refer to the short user guide posted on the downloads page on our website or contact us at support at camranger.com. More information about the CamRanger Share app, which was briefly discussed in this video, can also be found on the downloads page.